Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a simple Python script which essentially takes a password or the user input and hashes it. So I'll go ahead and open a new script. So the library we're going to be using is hashlib, so we'll just go ahead and import that. So we'll create a first function, uh, we'll call it hashing method. Okay, and we'll create a variable. Um, we can't use hash because it's a reserved word, so it comes up purple. So we'll just use hash1 equal to hash library dot. So the dot accesses the methods within the library. So we've got MD5, uh, various uh, SHA encryption methods as well. But we'll go ahead and pick MD5. And then we'll return a print statement to the user saying your hash password is. And then we've got to do comma hash1, which is what we've said here, dot hex digest. And we have to return it as a hex digest because it returns it as a 32 character, um, 32 characters essentially. If we don't do the hex digest, it returns it as an object. Which isn't very useful. Alright, we'll go ahead and create our main as well. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll just do a print statement. So, this print statement essentially uh, it's the first thing that's loaded up, so it tells the user what's, what the script's for. So, we'll just say passwords uh, hashing script. And then we'll assign a variable uh, passwd hash. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the raw input method. You can see it's purple. Um, so this is essentially what the user puts in to the script. So we'll say here, enter your password. And then, so we're assigning, essentially assigning what the user's putting in. Assigning it to password, password, hash. And then we're going to call the hashing method function up here. Except what we're going to do is we're going to pass the passwd hash variable in, which, will, which is assigned to this here. So we'll put that in. And then we're going to put it in here so that we can reference it. And we'll put it here. So that's that set. I'm just going to copy across the boiler code. So the boiler code is essentially uh, so you can run the script from the command prompt. So if we run this, we'll have to save it first. So we'll save it as a password hasher dot py. Save that. Okay. So we can see here password hashing script. So if we just bring up the code. So it's displayed this first message that we've put here in the main. It's now asking us to enter a password which will be stored as the raw input. So we'll say our password is password123 and then all it does is essentially hash it. So we can see here we've got our 32-bit md5 hashed password which is from there. 